I'm going to show you how to install a new lock screen and actually notification panel called Good Lock. So if you swipe down from the top of the screen, this is your default notification panel. There's nothing really exciting about it, but there's really nothing boring about it either. This is just what it looks like stock out of the box. And even the lock screen, if I were to lock my device, you'll notice I have my default clock on here and I have icons down the bottom left and right hand corners to quickly launch my phone and camera as well as just my regular lock screen. So what we're gonna do is open up our apps. We're gonna come into Samsung and then tap on Galaxy Apps. Now this good lock option is only something that you can install on Samsung devices. So you're gonna to need to do it through the Galaxy Apps App Store. So I'm gonna tap on search and search for good lock. Now being that I've already searched for it before, it shows up here in my recents, but you would need to type in good lock up at the top of the search. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on it. It's gonna show us, and now this is Samsung good lock up at the top. Now this is something that is actually going to update the system UI of our device. So this isn't something that's gonna run on top of anything. This is actually going to replace our default lock screen and our default notification panel. And you can see what it's gonna look like down here in these preview panels. So there are a lot of customization, a lot of options with GoodLock. So what we're gonna do is tap on update. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna download GoodLock and it's gonna restart our device once it's done updating. So what we're gonna do is tap on update. And what this is gonna do is download and we're gonna wait for it to download and it's gonna restart our device once it's ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and come back into that after it's done restarting. So once you have GoodLock installed and your phone's restarted, You'll be right out here to your home screen, and you'll notice up in the top right hand corner, some of our menu icons have changed. And if I swipe down to my actual notification panel, you're going to notice that this has drastically changed. So I have a much different looking actual notification panel, and even if I enter into my multitasking by tapping on the Recents button on my device, you're going to notice the multitasking is very different. And I even have a tray down here in the bottom of this screen. And if I lock my device, we'll go ahead and lock the device. Here on my lock screen, you can see even the lock screen is different. All the notifications up there. I have that app drawer down at the bottom. So a lot of this good lock is very different, but what's cool is it's running as a system UI update. So this isn't running on top of anything. This is actually now part of my device. So let's bring down our notification panel and I'm gonna show you a few things that are kind of cool about good lock. Now say this text message I have for my dad, if I wanted to keep it for later and take action on it, all I have to do is swipe over to the right when I move it to keep, I'll just go ahead and not show this again, and I'll tap OK. So now keep, if I come into here, I can see that this notification I've kept for later. So that way I don't have to clear everything out at one time. So if I clear all the notifications here, they're not gonna go to keep. So every notification's been cleared, except that one text message I wanted in keep, and now I can swipe down here and take action and actually reply to that message. And there's also the quick toggles up here. So I have Wi-Fi, location, my sound, I can even do my brightness. And if I swipe down further, so we'll take this down one step further, I have some quick toggles that I can do, see my battery percentage, search my settings, and I can even enter into the settings of good luck, which is the second icon from the right. And the settings icon will actually take me into my system settings. Now something to keep in mind, and this might be fixed in a future update, is right next to where it says AT&T and you see my cellular connection, it says 4G, but I'm actually connected to LTE. For some reason, this good lock does not display LTE, it just says 4G, but I am in fact getting LTE speeds whenever I do a speed test, and nothing has changed there, it's just kind of the appearance of it. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's enter into our good lock settings by tapping up there in the top right hand corner. Now I can change my routines, lock screen, do advanced, and uninstall, which is basically just going to uninstall good lock and restore my system UI to what it was when I first opened my device. Now routines can be whatever you want them to. You can set functions, you can actually have them set for different areas, and right now we have our default routine or we can create one. If I create one, what it's gonna do is we give it a name. So I'm just gonna give this, uh, let's just give this routine a name called work. We'll tap next, and now we're gonna create our routine. So this routine will happen whenever I show up to a specific location. So right now I'm actually at work, so I'll set my location to what it is now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tap next. Now I can actually have this routine start at a certain time and end at a certain time. 
So let's just go ahead and start this one. Currently it's set to 2.50 p.m. So I get to work, let's say I get to work at eight o'clock in the morning. And let's have it end at 5 p.m. So this routine will run from eight to five and I'll tap next. Now what do I want for my quick settings? Do I want Wi-Fi? Do I want my rotation lock, Bluetooth? We'll go ahead and set those up. We'll tap next. I'm gonna select the style of the clock that I want on my lock screen so I can swipe through and see all of the different clock styles. And I can even use a widget instead of the clock if I wanted to. So for this one, I'll keep this clock here. I'll tap next. Let's choose a base color. So I'm gonna swipe through and choose the base color. This will actually theme everything. You'll see why you choose a color here in just a second. So I'll choose this color here. We'll tap next. And now I have widgets, notifications, and app trays. So behind the clock, I can actually have widgets. And if I tap the edit button there, I can add widgets and I can even enable access on the secured lock screen if I wanted to. But um, you can add widgets in there if you'd like. So now we'll come back out, we'll tap save, and then even in the app tray, I can go ahead and edit what's in the app tray, but you can also edit this directly from the app tray as well. You can change your grid size, you can go all the way up to about an eight, and you can come down to a three. So I like to keep it at four, and I can even add in my own icons. So it shows me my mostly used apps and all the apps that I have installed on my device. And notice I can have up to 12. So select all 12 apps that you want in here and they'll be added into that drawer. So I'll tap save and now I will tap on finish and our routine has been completed. So notice now I have routines in here work. It's gonna start at eight, end at five. And right now if I swipe down, my actual lock panel, you notice that color that I selected, my notification panel is now themed in that color. And the same thing will happen on the lock screen. So you notice now I have my clock up there that I selected, I have my app tray with all the apps that I selected, and every notification here on the lock screen now has that color theme applied to it as well. And the same thing from the lock notification panel, I can actually see that color that I've selected. So now let's come back into the good lock settings. Now that we've set up our routine, we can tap on lock screen and customize the lock screen. So I have a lock screen wallpaper enabled and I can change the wallpaper just like you regularly would. I can enable a colored wallpaper. This will actually take the wallpaper that I set and apply my routine's color overlay on top of that wallpaper so that way I know that my routine is running. And I can even apply my routine color to my default clock. I can choose my lock effect, so there's none, a popping color. So these are all the different lock screen effects that we can apply. In my advanced section, I can aim, enable the new recents panel, which is what I showed you earlier. So this is the new recents panel. Instead of seeing all of the cards, I just see a list of apps. And I can tap the X to close them or remove all to close them all at one given time. You'll notice down there as well, my app drawer also shows work. So that way I know that I'm actually in my work routine. That's kind of a nice little feature. So we'll come back into our good lock settings. We'll come into advanced. I can adjust the quick setting icon order. So if I wanted to adjust these, just tap and hold and rearrange the icon in whatever order you would like them to be in. Now there are some advanced functions, the app tray and the recents panel, I can disable that so that way the app tray is no longer shown in my recents apps. I can enable a blur effect, I can disable notification keep, so if I didn't want that keep section showing up, I can go ahead and disable that. If I turn that off, notice that keep is no longer there. I can even disable the actual new app drawer. So right here at the top of the screen, we have enable new recents panel. If I turn that off, my actual panel, so let's open up an app here. Notice the panel is now back to the cards instead of just the list. So now what I'm gonna do is actually come in here, we'll come back into good luck, come into advanced, and we can see all the other functions. So there's a bunch of different options we can do with good luck. But the main thing that I like about it is that it kind of does give your phone a fresh look whenever you're bringing down your notification panel. You can see everything that's going on and you can actually customize this a little bit more. And then even from the lock screen, instead of just having two icons down the bottom, so with the phone on the left and the camera on the right, you can actually come in here and create a custom app drawer. So that way you can quickly launch apps directly from the lock screen. 
So this was an overview of GoodLock. And like I said, if you come into the GoodLock itself, you can actually uninstall it, which is going to replace it with the factory version of the system UI. And once you do that, it's going to restart your device and bring you back to how it was when you first opened it up out of the box. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech's YouTube, and we'll see you in the next video.